We're here at AQS Quilt Week in Paducah, and I'm here with Janet Stone, who's no stranger to being here for an interview. <laughs> it's always fun. And this is Alphabet Quilt what? Number, 24, number, number 24. 24. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, and it's a little bit different size than you've been making I know, your it's other a little smaller, quilts. yeah. Uh, I don't know, I, dra I draft them out when I design them. I draft them out on um, graph paper with pencil and to kind of get the, the overall size. And for some reason, this was just as big as it needed to be. You know, sometimes they tell you they need to be bigger, yeah. but this was as big as it you needed to be. You didn't need to stretch it no, anymore, not, did No, not this you? time, uh-uh. Well, okay, so now I can tell you one of the things I absolutely love that's different about this quilt is how you've done all of this decorative stitching mm -hmm on this background piece. Mm -hmm. The whole background, this whole background here, um, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's two different shades of like a, is a, like a taupe and a cream. Yeah, especially like right here. And, yeah, yeah, and I don't uh, piece very well and I really didn't want seams in there, so I actually, there's a piece of muslin that I started out with and drew the grid on and cut those squares just I had fusible on the back of the fabric and then cut the squares and then placed them all like that and then fused them all down and then did the decorative stitching on them. And um, so that's what's holding those sti those pieces right, together. Right, exactly. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's beautiful. And I know all of the work that you've done in these green trees mm -hmm. everywhere, lots of different quilting stitches. Yeah, I yeah I um, like to do something interesting. I, you know, when you do small appliques like this, sometimes if you don't quilt it down, sometimes it gets a little puckery, and and I don't really like that. So I always try to do a little stitching on a lot of the appliques. Some of it will puff up, you know, like that. That looks okay there because it's kind of puffed up. But I think originally wasn't going to quilt those down, but then when I got kind of did the stitch in the ditch around them. It was like, yeah, they needed it. They it was needed like, again, something the, more. The quilt talks to you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and so are you using a narrow, fairly close together blanket stitch? Yeah, I do all my applique. It's all raw edge um, and a blanket stitch. Okay, and so you quilted in these trees. Mm -hmm. A lot of quilting in those trees. Mm -hmm. And then the, this, this is kind of interesting up here, the leaves on this tree up here. I actually, I kind of wanted them a little dimensional. I didn't want to oh. have to quilt them down, um, so mm -hmm. I, Stitch through the middle. They're stitched in the middle, but they're also two sided um, because I didn't want them to be really thin. So I actually took a glue and sort of haphazardly made a leaf shape and glued around, almost laminated the two fabrics together mm -hmm. and then cut the shape out and then just did the quilting on the stem there so they had a little dimension to them. And so these part, this part of the tree then is like a satin stitch? That No, that's actually uh, a, a linen cord. cord. A yeah, cord. Mm -hmm. I, collect, I had that in my stash. I collect a lot of linen cords and ribbons and stuff. I use on the outside is a little uh, linen ribbon that I had collected um, years ago. and couch that down. Well, one of the things that you've done a little bit different is you've added some metal pieces mm -hmm. to this quilt, haven't you? Yep, the you? bees. That's the bees in the title. <laughs> that's the only, oh. the bees are the only metal one, metal things in here and they're sort of haphazardly in there. You kind of got to look for them. There's some little tiny ones. And so this is called Butterflies? Bees and Alphabet Trees. This this uh, quilt was actually inspired. I had the, the word alphabet trees in my head for several years before this quilt came to fruition. I, I always envisioned making a um, tree, a quilt kind of featuring trees and always had that alphabet trees in my head. So that's kind of was the original inspiration. Well then I want to know how long it took to put all of these little pearls. It takes a while. Those are hot fix. Yes. Um, they're Swarovski hot fix pearls. You know, you've got a little, there's a little thing that you use to, to heat them up. You put it over the top of them and heat them up. I mean, it probably takes about a good 20, 30 seconds to deal with each, each one. one. So yeah, them. it adds up. It does take time, but I, I like the look of it. And now this is something a little different for you. That was as very well. different and very interesting, <laughs> if I do say so myself. I knew I was going to do, I mean, I had the design to do the letters, and originally I was going to maybe use charms or some other kind of purchase letter. I even bought some like hot fix letters that were sort of gold, but they were a little too glitzy looking. And so I, it almost came down to like, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to make these myself. So I, um, I took the, the fabric and wrapped it around like a, um, it was like, like a Pellon interfacing, kind of mm -hmm. a dense, and um, drew the letter on there and then just put them under the machine and went at it and just free motion quilted all of them. Wow. So well, it was wonderful. I figured if I messed up, I could, you know, do another one. I mean, it wasn't the end of the world, but I, I think I did most of them the first time. I think I had one letter that was a little crooked that I redid, but. 
Well, that, you really have to see this quilt in person to see all of the many details that Janet puts on these on her quilts. So congratulations, Janet, on winning the Brother Best Wall Stationery Machine Workmanship Thank you. here at the Paducah Show this Thank year. You. It's always exciting, especially in Paducah. <laughs> well, and you know what? We always love seeing your quilts, but we love seeing your quilts too. And you know what? You can't win if you don't enter. That's right. Isn't that right? That's right. right. <laughs> Gotta and enter so to win. <laughs> the rules are on our website, AmericanQuilter.com. Just click on the shows and contests and you'll find all the rules for 2024. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe because if you do, you will get a notice every time we put a new video with That's Janet right. Stone up or there. Or somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I watch them all. It's always fun to watch them. Okay, congratulations, Thank Janet. you, thank you. And we'll see you soon at the AQS Quilt Week.